heavyweight championship fight between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, with big differences in height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Tyson Fury. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of. 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. This is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. say that the United Center is the home that MJ built. This is George St. Pierre's home, the Bell Center in Montreal. And I'm telling you, man, when the hometown boy hits the curtain, D 
these people go crazy. This is a phenomenal fight environment. Fury gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, he misses with the left punch there. And they separate. Oh, collar tie. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, he heard a bad with the jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just missed with the left there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just misses there with the left. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. All right, single collar tie now. Just misses with the jab there. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Double up on the jab. You see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful kick. to the uppercut and he lands to the head. He lands a beautiful uppercut right as he comes in close. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And they separate. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Fury's lower jaw now started to show signs of swelling. Uppercut. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Nice punch there by Tyson Fury. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. You don't know when that leg kicks coming. Power shot there. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully.
he managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this he round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Effective punch there by Choi. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Straight punch lands. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Got the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Choi. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Effective use of the jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, nice. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Went for the inside leg kick. He's back in the clinch, let's see what he does now. Oh, nice grab by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transitions. Punch over the top. Oh, that right hand is on point. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. And he landed the right hand there. Single collar tie now. And he comes through with a big knee. Big combination. Just misses with the straight right. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Slips. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 20 seconds to go round two. Final 
seconds here of round two. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Choi. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Ooh! Big punch lands. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Punch is blocked. Point jab to the head on the counter for him. And again, he's the longer fighter. It's going to be easier for him to counter than his opponent. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice punch there by Tyson Fury. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch by Choi. It's such a fast leg kick. They continue to exchange. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Got clip with the right hand. Elbow lands there. Nice job by Tyson Fury. Flush right hand is true. Oh, a huge block there. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just out of range with the big right hand. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh man, that cut is nasty. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice. Big head kick lands. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, collar tie. Yeah. 
and able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Now connects with a right. And just misses with that big right hand. Slips the punch. Right hand punches the clip. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he continues. Check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of strike? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. That last round's over. You took his best shots and smiled back. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, big punch land. Hands high, hands high. Lands flush with that right hand. Let's focus, let's focus. Big kick land. Oh, man. What a punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big shots being landed on both sides here. He kept the turtle in that kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice shot there by the Korean Super Bowl. He blocks the punch. Great punch. Beautiful straight punch there by Short. Fury getting tattooed by that skin jet. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. The Under three minutes now to go on the round. has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 20 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still
celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue